So one time, Lord Chaitanya invited all of his devotees from Bengal to Jagannath Puri. And Shivananda Sain was a very intimate associate of the Lord, and he personally took it on his own as his responsibility to guide and make sure all the Vaishnavas, hundreds of them, had a very comfortable and stress-free journey to Puri. Just like when we go on yatras, sometimes we see Krishna Chandra Prabhu, Radha Krishna Prabhu, they make so many arrangements and it's so many anxieties making arrangements in this world. Rohini Nandan Prabhu also, and many others, of course. all glories to them. So Shivananda saying, in those days they had to walk, there was no Indian railways. And they, he would have to arrange prasad and places to stay, and there were all sorts of battling tribes, and there was an Islamic government, and there was all dangers, and they had to pay so many taxes and tolls, and Shivananda saying would take care of everything for everyone. Because Shivananda saying knew that by serving the Vaishnavas, this is the topmost way of pleasing the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Chaitanya. And to serve means to accept so many inconveniences and make so many sacrifices to the object of our service. Lord Nityananda Prabhu, who was Balaram himself incarnated, was on this journey. So Shivananda Sain, he came to a place where there were tax collectors. So he told all the devotees, you go through the tax collection place and you wait for me in a nice quiet area and I'll be harassed by these tax collectors and somehow work things out. So he was harassed for a long time. And Lord Nityananda Prabhu was sitting under a tree. And by his own transcendental will, he became very hungry. And he became transcendentally angry. And he said out loud that I am so hungry I could die. And because Shivananda Sain is not giving me prasad properly, I curse that his sons will die. And Shivananda Sain's wife happened to be right next to Lord Nityananda Prabhu when he said this. He said, for the inconvenience he is causing me, let his sons die. His yeah. wife began to weep and cry. I would like all of you mothers to do research in your heart. What would your feeling be if Lord Nityananda said that about your sons? And what about you fathers? You don't have to say anything, but just be honest with yourself. So Shivananda same came, finally, and when he came, he immediately was approached by his wife, and she said that, Lord Nityananda, he was so hungry that he cursed our sons to die, and she was weeping and weeping. And Shivananda Sain, who replied, you foolish woman, why you're crying? For the inconvenience I have caused Lord Nityananda, our sons deserve to die. Because he knew whatever Lord Nityananda desires is for the ultimate good of all living beings. And he very blissfully ran to Lord Nityananda and begged his apology. And as he approached Lord Nityananda, Lord Nityananda, with great anger, kicked him with his foot on Shivananda Sain's chest. And Shivananda Sain was very happy. He began to praise Lord Nityananda, praised his own good fortune. The great sages and rishis, even Brahma and Shiva, they are always aspiring to try to get one grain of dust, one glimpse of darshan of the lotus feet of the Lord. Even Ananta Shesha, with all of his thousand hoods, are chanting the glories of the lotus feet of the Lord. And today, out of his causeless mercy, those same lo lotus feet have touched me. I consider today my birth, my life, my family, everyone is perfectly successful and liberated because I have achieved the dust of the lotus feet of Nityananda Prabhu. Of course, you made all nice arrangements for Lord Nityananda Prabhu. And when Lord Nityananda heard how he accepted his mercy, with such humility and gratefulness, Lord Nityananda Prabhu embraced him. Of course, Shivananda Sain's sons did not die. They became Paramhamsa, great Vaishnavas. They lived long lives and then went back to Godhead. Shivananda Sain is glorified forever for having such faith and devotion and the mercy of the Lord in whatever way it comes. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.